Round two, WOR, Jeddah, a track which I've had good success in the past. However, there's a big change. New wheel for the first time, new pedals for the first time. I did use them in Creator Series a couple of days ago. This is different. WR is obviously a bit more competitive. It's gonna be tricky. Jeddah is a track which the slightest mistake is extremely punishing. So we are gonna to have to get it perfect. If you haven't seen round one at Bahrain, my last race with my old wheel, check it out, link in the top right, but let's get into qualifying. I feel a bit ill. I'm coming down with something. Obviously new wheel. So uh, the challenge is going to be there. And I've had like a constant nosebleed all day. I don't know what happened, but I had a bit of a flare up from the surgery. The Fanatec is sponsored. So, um, I mean, it's my will, but Fanatec got in touch with me and wanted to send me this. So a massive shout out to them. And I'm also an affiliate or a partner. So you guys go through my link in my link tree. Anything you get from Fanatec will support me directly. So uh, it's pretty dope, pretty cool. Also, these new gloves, which I'm running today for the first time, Virage.gg. I've got a code. I've got a new link tree just for discounts. So if you guys want to get any gear, you can. I've been wanting to get channel sponsors and like links and affiliates for a long time. And finally, I have that. So here we are then at Jeddah, round two, currently in qualifying. This is, of course, one of my favorite tracks on the F1 game. Really fun to drive. And, you know, you're right on the limit having to go flat out. Not super quick, but just want to get a lap on the board. I have a banker. Let's try and nail this final corner. Now making our way into the final corner, as you heard me say, looking to try and have a decent banker lap. Again, they're not quite troubling the apex, but can I get it underneath for 26? Okay, I'll take that. That's not too bad. It's not ideal. I would have liked like a 26, a 25.9, maybe a 25.8, but I can work with that. Right, second attempt. Let's try and find some more time. Here we go. So attempt number two, looking to really try and ramp things up in this one. That's more like it. We have a really good exit out of the S section, which gives us purple and quickest of everyone legit in sector one. So a very good start for that, but the hairpin wasn't so great. That wasn't so great. That's a personal best first sector. I think there's like another half a tenth of the hairpin if I get the line right. Oh, again, I just, I'm not getting that wall on the right. Oh, come on, let's get into the 25s. Come on. Now, I didn't quite get the apexes through the chicane on my first run, and the same again on this second attempt, but now we nail it here. Oh, I'm lucky there. Very lucky. Really cutting it fine with the barrier. Apologies for the screen freeze. I believe I fixed this issue after this race, and I don't think I've had any since. But here we go. That's the final corner. Make or break. Looking to try and improve. This could be potentially like a 7. Yep. Not bad. Could have carried a bit more speed, but we'll take it. Take that. Yeah, absolutely, we'll take that. My middle's consistently shit. I'm only 10th off, fucking hell. Well, I'll actually have half a chance here. Now, a big reason why the middle was a bit, you know, crap is because the hairpin's not great and also the chicane. So we know where the time is. I took it to try and put it together. Now, for this final run, time is very, very marginal. I actually am at the very back of the queue here, but we're gonna just, I'm not gonna make it, just squeeze it. Okay, well, let's go. I still get a lap. Not ideal tyre temp. So, tyre's a bit cold, but we're going to try and make it work anyways. Ah, crap. A bit too much rotation. Let's see what the lap would have been. Now, unfortunately, we validated straight away, but you can see here where the time gain, that's where the time was. Right there. I'm also, a bit of the hairpin, but the time was there. Again, I didn't actually find anything in the hairpin, so there's still like half a tenth there. We lost a little bit in the final corner, a bit scruffy here and there, but there was time. Eh. Marginal, slight toe. That was actually a six. So yeah, overall, here is the final rundown from qualifying. P12, I'll take it. Leroy Brown, my teammate, P5. Um, to be fair, if you take the top two out of the equation and you look at the gaps, you know, we was only one point, basically, 1.4 tenths off P3 and with those small 
little margins, you know, through the chicane and the hairpin. I definitely could have fought for that, especially P8. P8 was, I think, realistically possible. There's a bit of a gap there, you know, half a tenth, and we're on the, on the fourth row, which would have been awesome for us. So, overall, I'm not mad about it. First qualifying on the new wheel. Again, I wasn't feeling great in this one. I was a bit ill and just, you know, struggling a bit with energy. But um, the car felt good. I felt pretty comfortable over a single lap. And, yeah, we're going to start from P12 in what is one of the better qualifyings in a little while. So, let's get into the race and let's see what happens. So qualifying done, pretty good. Last run, shame we invalidated, bit more pace in it. I think there was maybe even like a high five if I just had a clean lap. But alas, you're going to have that with a new wheel. The race concerns me because we need to be consistent and clean. And the consistency on a new wheel is probably the hardest thing to achieve. So this is what worries me. What are you starting on, Leroy? Hard to think. Well, let's just have a look, see what these all are doing. Hards. What pressures? Same as qualifying? Uh, going 0.5 on the front. Nothing on and the And fuel? Room. Is it a fuel burner? One lap. I'm just using what Jake used. Oh, shit. I didn't have time. I want to go medium to start. Not ideal. <laughs> you can do medium soft. Only choice I have got. Underway then for the race at Jeddah. Accidentally on the wrong tyre. I wanted to start on hards, but I don't know my controls. Well, at the time, I didn't know my controls that well on my buttons, you know. And when you're rushing, I wasn't able to get the hard selected. Oh, I want my own plate. Please leave me alone. Now, at this point, we're just trying to be very cautious. Again, you know, it's... I, I'd raced days before in Creator Series, but this was my first, you know, serious level league race and I'm still very green, so I'm just trying to get through the first lap, build up my confidence and see where it goes, but we have to also use the medium. Oh shit. Sorry, mate. Very, very slight contact there as uh, Sammy Kemsey broke way more than I anticipated, you know, uh, more than usual as he ran a bit wide for the hairpin. I tried to react, but we had slight contact. We lost momentum, so Daniel got by and now Thomas Laminen looking oh, let's go soft tires obviously that's going to make a difference the tire compound now realistically I'm not going to fight you know Thomas too much the soft is going to work really well the key thing for us is to try and pass those on hards as we have a bit of an unfortunate hotel section there nowhere to go and we almost concede to Yone Dovzan but luckily for us we're still ahead of him and now we're going to challenge around the outside of Daniel to try and get that one back after that incident at the hairpin half a lap ago and now we're going to slide into this slipstream and try to look and get Sammy Kemsey here as well and finish the job and try to get through down the inside into turn one on the anchors again don't want to run into the car ahead and I think you know if I was more confident with my braking my new pedals all that stuff shit I probably nailed that move but hesitation lack of confidence you know lack of knowledge with the wheel i wasn't able to get the move wrapped up however i do go ahead and use a lot of battery but we get it done shortly after on the back straight which moves us into 12th place and back to where we started and now we're behind valentina labella another hard tire runner all right leroy ahead of you soft runner fifth and first second or medium rest hard runner. and then obviously to us so there's the tyre rundown as we pass Labella up the inside of the final corner and we're now P11. Up next we have Kruber Wojnack and my teammate Leroy Brown as we head into DRS enabled territory. Now I'm going to try and get Kuba here using a lot of the battery in the initial stage but Kuba does actually respond using battery of his own which stops me from getting the move done so I, I decide to wait a bit longer and we're going to get a good run out the final corner and we're going to burn all the batteries but Kuba is also matching and defending at the same time that's just a low wing also you can hear me say he's running low wing which is making it harder I'm going to try and have a look though around the outside but Leroy gets it in a bit hot into one which puts him offline and actually Kuba turns defence into offence and uh, goes or tries to go through on Leroy but Leroy defends so nothing happens however we did burn a lot of battery in that sequence and this is you know all for p10 right now so if we can get ahead that puts us in the points and that's a start as Coop actually uh, skateboards on the curb we try to judge it but it's very tough to go too wide here so we take a bit of a shortcut as did Cooper rejoining the track but we do go through and we edge ahead into the hairpin so 
crucially P10 and we get in front. So now we can slot in behind Leroy. Or not. I had to use a bit of battery to get or stay ahead of Cooper. And now Yone on the medium looking to come through here. We have to go lay out on the brakes into one and extend the braking zone. We leave room, although there is slight contact, but we do just get in front where we have burned pretty much all of our battery in that phase of the race. How's your battery? Uh, I've told you also this. Now we'll get an update to see what Leroy's working with, but we are looking to try and save now we're in the points. We've done the hard work with Thomas on softs ahead. 59. So we'll just see how Leroy gets on. Either way, in the meantime, uh, Yone caught me napping unawares and went for it. What are these lot doing? And fair play, you got it done. Um, I'm not going to fight too hard, I'm trying to save battery. So just save the battery now, Tom, where you go. Trying to. But that's what happens if I try and save. And what I mean by that is I usually have a little nibble of the battery on every single corner exit to make sure no one gets the run and the one time I didn't do it at the S section there Yone got me so it's tricky to save yellow flag though okay we've got a full course caution the safety cars out keep an eye oh, on the delta we need to keep it positive to avoid a penalty Can you go meet him to the end like yesterday positive delta okay mate don't worry about uh, the damage you've got some new strategy options no, it's it's your MFD. it does fuck you over so yeah Unless um, you want to, if you want to double stack, we can double stack. I'll, I'll double stack, but I'm just wondering what, what to do if I do the Jake. Soft, soft, or should I go for the hard? Go soft, soft. Really? Yeah. What is it hard? Now at this point, we're just trying to figure out what the best option is, but we're going to have to stack, which is pretty much going to ruin our progress. I'm going to have a safety car. If not, I'll deal with the, I'll deal with it. I want to try something different. I'm not going to have to overtake everyone now because I'm going to lose it all on the stacks, so... Uh, Dobson stayed out, that guy, the Alpatari. Now it is a 1.8 stop, but we've lost so much with the double stack, so... We'll see what we can do on these tyres. Alright, we'll be doing one more stop Tom, today, no one set stop medium. left in this strategy. I do, I've got softs and mediums. But we discussed this yesterday, I've got two fresh softs, so like, I do like to lap. I don't know, 16, and then the rest. My point is that, like, you're at the back anyway. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. Box again. What do you think, Leroy? He's, at, he's 16th. It's he's, another good option. Let's go back onto mediums. Oh, rejoin in 18th. Maybe if that Nando guy pits as well, like, you'd be, you'd be put two positions, one position. It's up to you. I'm inclined to go back on medium. Is that, or you go on the hards and try and take it to the end? That is not an option. I'm gonna go hards because I'd, right. I'd say hard, and then you can save the medium because something comes up later. I could have just gone for hards when I bought last time. I'll give it a shot. It's totally up to you. It's I'll totally it, up to you. I'll give it a shot. I'll go for the hard. Fuck. I know. I know. I've lost out in the first, but I would have lost out anyway because of the um, stack. So the it just means I have fresher tires than everybody else, or the freshest tires. So. I mean, yeah. one pit behind you, you lost one position, so... Most tires are still fresh. Alright, let's rejoin and get back to it. And uh, see what we can do. We cannot, under any circumstances, let the two guys behind me overtake. So, um, that's what you have to worry about. I'm not expecting to move forward. <laughs> Just stay where I am. So, after all that, we ended up switching to hards, and now we're back on the way. Us three at the back are going to be going to the end on these tires, and we're getting challenged here. Here we go. Nando Moreira goes down the inside into turn one. Green flag. That's on me, I think. Turned in a bit too much there. Now, I want to know what you guys thought. Watch it back slowly. We'll get back. We'll get back. I'm not bad for it. In the meantime, I tried getting back in, but we just couldn't catch up, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, no. What? Safety car, please. Okay, the incident's been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. Come on. Okay, the stewards have now enabled the RS. Oh, the I'm RS is now online. Oh, I haven't got that much though. So you need to let Cuba and Leroy go. I am. I've got no battery, I can't push. I'll let you through into one Leroy. Now at this point I've literally burned everything. The pace wasn't great. Um the hard tire wasn't working, it's not a good race tire. I won't up in the RS, you just go. 
Now, we'll get into the reasons why at the end of the video. I don't want to spoil anything, but at this phase, I was struggling. The car felt very light, very floaty. The back end was super inconsistent. And I just didn't have any confidence putting the power down, which was just making me really hesitate and not carry speed at no point. I can't say battery in a minute. I'm going to get dropped. More than I've got some good pace on the hard half. He's following medium. Which also on a DRS train back up to uh, the lead pack. Then they're fired at the front, so... That's what we need. need to merge back up to that front pack. Tires to do one. Tires to Two tires? Yeah. I'm back to the first yeah. phase. 25. That front pack is just... That gap is so big. But they're firing like crazy. You'll catch eventually. So yellow flag, turn one, although it seems brief. That's nice Joel. Joel Marquardt apparently caught up in an incident. Either way, um, you know, you heard of the comms, a lot happening, but the main thing is we're trying to catch back up to that leading group. And there's just a bit too much of a gap there. And, you know, the gap isn't coming down. Either way, I'm just hanging. Shit, I lost the RS, man. Or I was hanging onto DRS from Leroy. Um, again, I'm just struggling with the pace. You know, the tyres for, for some reason are just not working. Even though I should have better tyre wear, it's just not going my way. And now we are out. Oh fuck no! I'm out of back rifle. Right. It was all okay in the first in, but it don't seem to be working at this stage. I'm not liking this tyre at all. It's horrible. Just demos of that shit. Little shit with my shit. It just feels like I'm floating everywhere. There's no grip. I think I wasn't going to the end. I don't think I'm clear enough. I'm going to pick by now. Oh shit. <laughs> Top. Mid back sort of battling, but the front two are a little bit further. What percent are you on? I'm on 45 right rear. Okay, I'm on 40 dying. Fucking up, I'm either murdering my tyres or there's not a lot in it. No, you're kind of getting the idea. I mean, we've got basically the same tyre as my teammate and he's on mediums. So I just think that spin maybe ruined our tyres, possibly. Because my tyre was a little bit non accurate because of the spin I had on the roof start. Contact on her. That could actually be where some of the pace is as well, to be honest. That fucks up your tyres this game. I mean, my rear is, is sliding everywhere. What second phase? 60. Sort of, know. yeah. 65. I'm on 59. Yeah, second phase. 1.3 Leroy. Yeah, cool. What percent is wrong? Back. Uh, probably at 60. Yeah. I'm at second phase. Now at this point, everyone is starting to really struggle on tyres. You can see my tyre wear icon in the bottom right, we're over 60% wear. But those on mediums are going to be even higher. And there's actually a genuine threat that punctures may arrive once you hit 75% for some of these cars ahead of us. So things should happen to train back together. Yeah, it is. And that's what we want to hear because that will increase the chance of battles and possible incidents at the end. I was opposing that for these canaries. Oh. Two cars. Is that for like yep. yellow flag? Yeah, yeah, that one is, yeah. So, a few penalties as well starting to just add up, which could change things. Oh shit, that could be damage. Uh, Julian just got a penalty anyway, P6. Okay, those tyres are going to fall off the Three cliff. Three cars ahead of you in that train, Leroy, really have penalties. Fifth, sixth and eighth. Very yeah. lucky. Very lucky to not have damage. Now with a lap and a half to go, I'm just trying to stay within the five second penalty window of Cuba. But we make a bit of a mistake on the exit of the S section, also I've got no battery. Oh, Leo's got a punch of Leroy ahead of you, the Red Bull. Yeah, I'm close to a punch of myself. And literally everyone is crawling to the finish. We're completely out of battery, currently 13th. And also because we don't have any charge or crucially DRS, we are out of the five second window to Cuba. So unfortunately, it's gonna be the end of our race. 
a few pens, but nothing for us to really gain from, unfortunately. Hard to wear the tie, to be honest. No, hard to. <sighs> no, I just think it's that spin, Tom. Maybe, maybe the spin matter for me. Or your pressures were too low. I mean, I was on min race. Yeah, <laughs> Papi, why? Well, I don't know, do I? <laughs> so ultimately, to kind of summarise uh, the two reasons why the hard tie wasn't great. One was the spin. In F123, when you spin and you basically overheat, you know, or you put the tires through stress, they never recover performance. They just feel terrible. It's like you flat spot them and they don't ever come back. So that's a lesson learned for future races. Also, I ran minimum tire pressure on the rear, which was also a bit of a red flag for Jeddah. You have to run, you know, at least a couple of clicks of tire pressure. So those two things combined just meant I had no contact patch, no feeling, no confidence with the hard tire because the first thing, albeit I was on mediums, everyone else was on hards, my pace was good and I was comfortable even well into the first phase of tire wear. So Overall, I take positives. I don't think it was a bad first race on the new wheel. Qualifying also was really encouraging. So I think the pace was actually not too bad. Just unfortunate that we had that spin, which I want to hear your thoughts on in the comments down below. Unfortunately though, two rounds in, no points for me. So again, we'll bring the standings up a few races down the line once we have them up to date. So I think round six is when I have standings saved. So um, yeah, until then guys, still pretty simple, no points. We'll see what happens. All I'll say is, Watch these videos because things will get a lot more fun to watch. I promise you that. So, uh, yeah. Cheers for watching, guys. Like and subscribe as always. Check out the two videos on screen. Hopefully, we improve. Hopefully, we close out F123 with a bang. Get some decent results. And, yeah. Until then, guys. Keep watching. Keep enjoying the content. And I'll see you soon. Take care.